And we're back. Another Thursday means another watch along. Connor, Connor, my friend. My He's friend, my scratching fellow. Scratching my nose in the mic. Right, but that sounded fantastic. I bet it sounded all crusty. Been looking at those Excuse crusty you. nose hairs all night, mate. What? Yeah, I've been like, I need to trim those. Really? I've got the worst nose hairs in the world, dude. Do you think so? No, I'm not looking at your nose hairs. Oh my God. I cannot judge that anyone else's nose hairs when I have the most fucked nose hairs. You want to see? Look. I can't see any. <laughs> they're they're the worst them all out. out. Do you like tear up when yeah you... i put scissors up there and cut them out Doing. and you're like i told you that the other week actually yeah you did you were playing with the scissors and i said those are my noses you're gonna like, throw them away yeah you gotta do what you gotta it's do good, it's good nose lore on the podcast hey guys welcome to another 50 percent watch along today we're doing vincent the doctor written by richard curtis who we all know i'm a sucker for love that man everything he touches you love gold. love actually i uh, love love actually I know it's got its fucking political problems, sure. Does it? But I enjoy it. Yeah, it's a bit stalkery. There's a lot of like questionable sex decisions. It's very like old white man written movie. But you know what? I saw it with a live love orchestra. It. I know. I was so jealous. I wanted to go last year because I did it a second time in a row. They do it every year. They're doing it this year as well. Yeah, I'll try. I might try and go along this year to it. Very expensive. But that's okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. It gets more expensive each year. Because mm-hmm. they just, know people want to do it. That was bastard. Uh, he also wrote the film About Yesterday. Time. He wrote and directed About Time, which is in my top four on Letterboxd. Just for everyone that was wondering. I don't check Letterboxd. Yeah, no, you don't, because you suck and you hate movies. That's exactly what that means. Vincent How and the did Doctor. You know? No. That's crazy. Like, this was, I think, just before About Time, because About Time was 2013. Uh, so, Vincent and the Doctor, you got a man coming off the back of Love, actually, and a couple other fantastic things. Oh, obviously he did Notting Hill as well. That's a very notable one of... of Do you know what I say? What? It's about time he wrote a Doctor Who episode again. I'd agree. He's he's amazing. He's emotional at what he writes. It, like, he definitely puts his emotions into what he writes. And sometimes I think Doctor Who misses that sometimes. Yeah, it does. Do you think he'd ever come back? Oh, uh, no, I don't think so. He's a busy boy. Busy boy, Connor. Busy boy. Too busy boy. writing Danny Ball's new film. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to press play on Vincent and the Doctor very, very soon. Uh, we'll give you a three-second countdown on go is when we will press play. And, yeah, we'll just roll on through. Hopefully, we'll have no problems. Um, you guys can, yeah, sync this up, press play at the same time as us, and you can listen to it. Fantastic. So, um, yeah, if you don't want to watch it on YouTube, you can just check us on Spotify if that's easier or whatever whilst you watch the episode. But while you're there, give us a five-star review because that would be very good. Make sure you subscribe. Close to 1,000 subscribers. And probably got 1,000 by the time this comes out. Uh, maybe. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> probably not. Now, we probably lost subscribers by the time this comes out. Yeah, we're back to zero again. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyone that will be watching on YouTube, though, about halfway through, you will see me get up and touch something on the camera. Do not fear, you will stay synced up. I just have to stop and start the recording on the camera, but everything will remain the same and you will not even know other than seeing me do it visually. Does that make sense, Connor? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. So grab a beer or a gin or a cider or a whiskey, whatever you like, or a water or a Coke. Or nothing. But let's get a little bit crazy and sit back and watch Vincent and the Doctor, which is one of my top three 11th Doctor stories. If you want to get crazy, let's get crazy. Yeah? Yeah. Would you put it in your top three? Uh, obviously, obviously, it's no Bells of St. John. But Oh my God, it's 10 times better than Bells of St. John. Eh? <laughs> nah, definitely a goaded episode. I think it's one of those episodes where like you don't really think about it. Mm. And then when you watch it, you're like, damn, this is good. This is great. All right, let's get cracking straight into it. All right. Guys, we're watching this on Stan on the Australian streaming service. Let's do this in three, two, one, go. Corn. Corn? What'd you That's call wheat. me? That's wheat. <laughs> that is wheat, not corn. Mm. Yeah, that is true. That is wheat. That is wheat. We have wheat in Australia. Yeah, wheat books, bro. The uh, wheat belt. Oh, I've got a Vincent Van Gogh work behind me, Connor. Looks very similar, actually. Yeah, because I'm a bit of an artiste, you know. An artiste. An artiste, they call me. God, I missed that early 11th Doctor score, hey? Yeah. Bill the Nye. Guy. The goat, bro. The handmade bow tie that they made. Yeah, I read about so, that. The handmade uh, bo- polka dots. Yeah. Why is Bill Nye in Doctor Who? What the hell? Because he's the goat, bro. He's amazing, dude. He can respect good Doctor Who. Ah. <sighs> 
Okay, yeah. Hmm. Um, would it's you say Rory's dead? He's dead, but she doesn't remember. Yeah, I know. Do you think series five, eleven, and Amy are the best out of like season five, six, seven? Yeah. 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 I think so. Sorry, the one else, but they're very good. Isn't that a pain of his psychologist? What's that? Maybe. Did he have a psychologist? Yeah. Yeah. Did you go to the Van Gogh Live expedition last year? I did year? not. It was very, very good. I did not. It was, very, it was like 3D Van Gogh. Like you walk through his paintings and stuff. It was insane. I think they literally just said that's the, the, the doctor who helped him. Huh? They literally just said that about the painting. Oh. Sorry. Right. Maybe I should listen. What is that? Classic. The first season, Matt. Peak. 26 years young. He's two years older than us, dude. That's not. Shut up. Almost one year older than you. That's insane. Mm. <laughs> Me being like, have you seen After Sun? Have you ever seen After Sun? <laughs> me stopping your shaking leg why because I can hear it why are you still shaking it it's a coping mechanism are you scared of nah I just do it it's like a it's like a tick I guess I want the push through the mm, that now that's domestic violence come on come on Matt okay who invented this theme song I thought this was a good idea mm. What, the 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 storm. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan. No, I'm nostalgic for it in a weird way, but I, I don't like it. You no, know? I don't really like it either. I feel like I didn't. I don't really love any of them since David's, except uh, series seven, part two, of course. Yeah, oh, of course. How could I forget? That one's great. Boom. I feel like the DW being as hard as that. Yeah, it's cool. been like, don't worry, and it spins. Yeah, don't it's, worry, don't worry, guys. Doctor Who's here. I kind of like the fire looks kind of cool. Yeah, that's a better better than the clouds. <gasps> pussy Yay! nice pussy gorgeous me whenever I go close to a pussy <laughs> runs right. away very good oh she's skipping she certainly uh, yeah <laughs> what's that supposed to be <laughs> stop myself before I said it yeah very good call yeah, so this at the Van Gogh Live thing was like an actual restaurant, like bar that you could get drinks at. That's sick. Like they fully made this a thing. That's it was sick. so cool. But I it was in like... i to smash a beer. It doesn't look like it does like in Doctor Who. Like it looked like all the walls were painted the same way that it's painted in the photos. Yeah, Do you know sick. what I mean? That's awesome. It just looked like you were sat in his painting. Is that when um, people ask about you at your local pub? <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah, I kind of had him. Unfortunately. People love me at the park. The one with the daily Guinness. And the one claps when I walk in. <laughs> Dude, they're so cool. <laughs> This guy uh, played a knight in Primeval. I think it was maybe season three, late in season three. Primeval? Yeah. There was a knight that walked through an anomaly once and they just had to chase this knight on a horse for a whole episode. It was so funny though. It was like a lighter hearted episode, lighthearted one. But then it had, a, I think, a sad thing because I think he had like an emotional bit at the end where he's like, I've been forgotten or something. You know? <laughs> he's like, I'm Van Gogh. I'm Van Gogh. Van Gogh walked through an anomaly. Batman with a box. How do they pay for it? 
I always ask myself. Money? Yeah, but what money? We don't have any money. A doctor's got into the galactic credit card. Yeah, but it's not. They don't have credit card machines. No, they do. Don't worry. Wrong. Richard Curtis wouldn't fuck this up. Holland. Interesting. (laughs) (laughs) Me. Van Gogh is my favorite artist. I'm going to put that out there. Like, I genuinely do. Like, And I think maybe it does stem from, like, this episode, you know, but... Do you know any other artists? Oh, there's there's the other one, yeah. Yeah, who the other one? Yeah, no, that guy, yeah, with the paint. Yeah. (laughs) Da Vinci. Well, when we talk about artists, obviously, I immediately think of Charlotte Wells, who directed After Sun. I saw her as a woman the other day. (laughs) That was a joke. Not very... Aiden's not a sexist. No, I was just saying... Yeah, I got the joke. It was I funny. was being wanky and referring to film directors as artists. Yeah, I know. Mm. I was. I wonder if anyone will die like a filmmaker and then they'll like their TV shows afterwards or like movies afterwards, like a Van Gogh. What was that? Like a similar thing to Van Gogh, like after he died. No, oh, people like their stuff after yeah. they die. I'm, uh, Michael Bay. Hmm? Michael Bay. Michael Bay? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. What's not to like about Michael Bay? Chris Chibnall. Where are they filmed this, do you reckon? Uh, probably, um... Well, this is, this looks like they filmed Vincent... Uh, sorry, um, uh, Vampires in Venice. Yeah, I bet that this was... This has got to be that. backed, yeah. yeah. It literally looks the exact same. So, dog? Our daughter. Why is she getting mad? They're trying to help. Because they think, I think they think Van Gogh killed her. Oh. Because he's so cooked. <laughs> oh it's so good you and you saw me at the pub I did my best me ask question you're like I'll stay here the whole night I'm kidding I gave I'm you an kidding. opportunity to leave and we left <laughs> kidding what it was lovely dick. that's what I'm here for That is a go picky. You like that pick? Yeah, I love it. You're a fan? Bigger fan than you, mate. Fake fan. I knew Van Gogh before you, trust me. <laughs> I've seen uh, Sunflowers in person. You have, actually, to be fair. So I win. Ultimate fan. Take a picture of it? I went to the expedition. You're not allowed to take pictures of me. No, you can. Oh, you can? I can't remember. <laughs> You couldn't take pictures of the Mona Lisa, but the I Mona did. Lisa, yeah. I stood from very far back and zoomed in. It was like three pixels. It's a very small picture. Oh, <gasps> Starry Night. Your favorite? Mm hmm. Put it on a mug. That's my favorite coffee mug, my Starry Night mug. No. Oh. <sighs> As a uh, ginger artist, I, I just very relate to this. This episode, you know, with the ginger girlfriend, the ginger goat, hey, yeah. What are you saying, Van Gogh and uh, Amy are the uh, the partners? They want he wants her. That's true. He wants her, mate. That is true. The ultimate ginger. Oh, I love this theme. So good. Got it on vinyl. <laughs> If uh, Matt says Geronimo in this episode, should we scull a drink? 
Yeah, I don't think he does though. Yeah, I don't think he does. We need to find like, we need to set up like rules. An actual drinking game. Yeah, for... we've got to. We keep telling we will, but we don't. <laughs> I don't think he does say Gerard Way, but I'm keen for him to say it. Mm. Who is that, Mel? It wouldn't be the uh, companion if they don't scream. No. Maybe he was as mad as I say. Mm. I kind of like this, how the whole plot kind of plays into the madness. Yeah. Like, to the point where it's like, obviously you can see that the invisible monster is knocking things over and stuff, but there is an element of like, is he just mad, right? Until the dot gets fucking doink. <laughs> Does this happen in real life? Yeah, this is based on true story. Yeah, I bet. I also like that, ADR. like, Vincent... The, that was the fattest ADR I've ever heard in my life. I like the fact that Vincent, the guy that, like, you know, made art that no one appreciated till he died, can see something that no one else can see. Yeah. I think that's really beautiful. That's how I feel about myself as an artist. Yeah, that's what I think about my movies. When they don't get into festivals, I'm like... Do you not see, see it? Yeah. Do you not see it? Mm-hmm. You don't see my vision... My vision. You're the issue, not me. That's it. Yeah, that's it. What do they do for a living, Van Gogh? Paint. Nah. He there he said no one bought them. Yeah, that's why he's broke. Oh. I knew that. <laughs> I should know. The expedition was really lovely and like it had heaps of... Oh, that's so sad. I had, I had heaps of like little written things that told you all about him. Like it was very educational as well as just awesome. Um, so I learned a lot about him, but I've seemingly forgotten it all apparently. Well, that's great. Yeah, I do that a do lot. You, do you think he's watching down from somewhere being like, oh, shit. He's like, I love you, Richard Curtis. No, at, at the expeditions and stuff. I think... I think it's just such a sad story. I mean, mm. like, it just shows you should appreciate artists like myself. Yeah. You know, whenever you leave a bad YouTube comment, just remember. Mm. Remember when the doctor was me. Remember I'm Van Gogh. <laughs> misunderstood. I'm misunderstood. That's what this yeah. podcast is. It's misunderstood. That's why we're not up 1K subscribers yet. <laughs> I love him he's so good I can't wait to see him the 60th man so <laughs> oh uh, which has of course which has of course which has of course been announced since yeah since we recorded this, this episode is, this is old right. news old news yeah he really was so great Matt yeah this was actually if I remember correctly the episode where my mum like fell in love with Matt uh, well not fell in love is a strong word yeah <laughs> but it, it was like she the whole season she was like oh, i don't know i don't know and then this was the one where she was like oh he's actually really good isn't he my, i remember my mom's that. was um time of angels time but, of angels oh okay so a few episodes in but no 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 but it, no no it, he'd been the doctor for like three years right time. okay and, and she just like, oh i finally get it now yeah gotcha oh the old tardis dead now of course what the what the, the 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 um the um the guy who made it bless him the creator of the TARDIS the guy who designed them all oh uh, yeah yeah because the production designer died yeah. didn't he yeah I love this machine by the way the, the ding dong machine we need more crazy contraptions don't we we don't mm. have enough ha <laughs> ha oh Bill well this is wrong this isn't right anymore hmm Where's my boy Pert? Where Where's Fugitive? Your mum. <laughs> Parrot. I love the cute picture of the polar bear. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. I love animals. Whoa. Easy dog. That's fucked up. Where does this TARDIS rank for you in, in TARDISes? 
like the interior. How long was he in there for? <laughs> Sorry, what? What? Yeah, it's gone daylight very quickly, hasn't it? Um, where does the, that interior TARDIS rank for you? Uh, hmm. Second least favorite. Yeah. Just some of Jody's. Yeah. Then Matt seven A. Then um. You mean seven B? Because this is a seven A TARDIS. Yeah. Sorry, my bad. No. S- yeah. No. No. You're right. No. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. And then it will be uh. Then it'll be Beck and David's, and then it would be. Capaldi's. Yeah. No, I agree. any ammo. No, I'm not. No. No. I agree. But it's very much like... like I don't hate Jodie's do as much as My most people. My opinion is great. I don't hate Jodie's as much as most people, but I agree that it's far worse the than... The Dead Spider. Like, yeah. Like, like once they get to Matt's... The, like, this TARDIS, this one onwards, they're all, like, really good, you know? Oh, yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, apart from Jodie's, I love them all. Yeah. I never used to really like this version of Matt's that much, but, yeah, now I really do. It's quite spacey, isn't it? Mm. very bright it's it very just, whimsical it just looks colory when you go in you know it's very right for like the doctor that he is like so whimsical so yeah nuts. yeah yeah way that's Amy Pond <laughs> get it it's the uh the painting. What? The painting. What painting? The set's been done to the painting. I see. Very wise. Very wise. That's clever, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. That's actually really neat. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, a cutie. This is at ah. Uh... This is very Richard Curtis. God, I love her. Hmm. Sounds like me. <laughs> this, this is how I talk. Really? Someone's like, here's a flower. And I'm like, oh, yes, the mighty flower. Somewhere between the... I can't. I don't know where I'm going with this. The live it or die. It. Oh, he doesn't want that. He likes having him there. No one likes to be alone. No. Oh, I missed that theme. Sounds like they're talking about me. The greatest artist we ever lived, bro. <laughs> now nah, that theme is good. Kind of makes one vlog. The greatest, yeah, that's after my Christy Provo man. The greatest artist who ever lived. Hello, Vincent. It is I. God, I hope we get this score in the 60th. And one less ear. Yeah, had he had done that yet, or was that just not in the episode? No, that's um, that's later, later in the timeline. Didn't he send it to his girlfriend? I should do that to my girlfriend. Yeah. Man, this episode is like almost too moving to like talk through the whole time, right?
Oh no, the lights are falling down behind us. That's not great. Oh well. Yeah, right, it is deep, eh? It's very deep, bro. Why did we choose this for a drunk watch along? It's fact, Sammy, I'm sorry. It's just mm -hmm. a sad truth. Yeah, Dead now, that's of course. a sad truth, eh? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Sorry, mate. Oh, no, you won't. Here he is. Vincent Van Gogh. This is like Indiana Jones shit. Yeah. Me when I get out of my depressive stay and go to the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Time to podcast. God, this is magical, isn't it? This so whole good. little era. Oh, fuck, I feel like I've really underrated Amy. She's been cracking she, in this she's episode. She's so great, hey? She's amazing. Rory's dead, my boy. What a great callback to last episode, hey? Yeah. This season was so good at that, right? Just little references. Season five was great. It, yeah, one of the best. Top three, of course. Top three, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Top three now, of course. Rip the goat. Oh no. Dead now, of course. What is this? Sex Education Episode 6? Damn, Aiden. It's okay. It's I been, out. It would have been out for been out for a while by the time yeah. this comes out. I had to think about that before the episode, before saying it. Before the joke. Before the joke, eh? Get out of here, you swine. I love that shot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, the time. So I send it up. Yeah. yeah. I love that line so much. Mm -hmm. Damn, Matt's young in this, hey? He is. My favorite thing to see Matt is when, to see of Matt, is when we just see pictures of him just like at the pub, like he loves having, the pub. A having a durry or yeah. just like a pint yeah. deep. Like, yeah, he loves the pub, bro. He does. One of us. One of us. I, lo I love that from one of these interviews. It was like, I was going to put up shelves, but let's go to the pub. <laughs> when like GQ interviewed him, it's like, he just goes to the pub. It's like, <laughs> I was supposed to put up shelves today. I guess I'm not going to be doing that. <laughs> I like how his mum has like a really famous Twitter account. Oh, she's so sweet. She's so like, sweet. my Maddie. Yeah. I wish so I had awesome. a Twitter account being like, my Connor, Connie. Connor just uploaded a new podcast episode. <laughs> mum wouldn't know how to work Twitter if she fucking tried. <laughs> That's X to you. Thanks. Sorry. Oh, there's the go. There's always a lot, a lot less to this episode than I remember. It's only forty-five minutes. Yeah, I know. But that's not a, that's not a criticism. When it ever gets to like quarter past an hour, do you ever say at work like it's another all right, adult three episode, and then it'll be like two o'clock? At two fifteen, it's like all right, Doctor episode, and it'll be never, never use this concept of time in my life. Have you never done that? Never done that. Really? Can't say Every how. time I hear forty five minutes, I go Doctor episode. No, every now and then I'll hear like 22, 45, 22 Simpsons. I'll hear forty five minutes, and I'll go, oh, I could watch an episode of something. If it's not, I don't bring it to Doctor Who. You just because I'm a shit fan. Yeah, you just some. Mm, I do. 
What was was Cold War thirty nine minutes? Forty one. Forty two. Alright, when it's forty two minutes I'll be like Cold War. <laughs> <laughs> this would be Cold War and then it'll be two o'clock. What about when it's sixty five minutes? What episode sixty five minutes? Well, that's what I was asking you to be honest, my man. What was it Mars? Think again. It might be, I don't know, like for Waters of Mars. End of Time Part 1? I think End of Time Part 1's a, a tight on 60 because it's the Christmas Day slot. It could be wrong. No, you're not wrong. Probably, actually, yeah. That being said, I think it's um, it's Voyage of the Damned at 65, isn't it? Which is a Christmas Day slot, but... I could watch Voyage of the Damned. Mm. <gasps> at 1.55, I could watch... <laughs> Voyage of the Damned and be done at 3. 2 o'clock. What Voyage of the Damned five minutes long? At one fifty five. You could watch Voyage of the Damned and be done by three. Two. No, that would make Voyage of the Damned five minutes long. At one fifty five. You just outed yourself. You silly boy. I'm a fucking idiot. You silly boy. You idiot. God, I failed your twelve maths you, you can tell. <laughs> it's okay. No one fucking needs math. Hey, beautiful. <laughs> I love that bitch slap. Hey! I love how half these rewatches are just us talking about random shit. As I know. Plays in the background. I know. I don't, how can people enjoy this? Well, isn't that isn't that just watching Doctor Who sometimes? Mm-hmm. Little quotes for comfort. What would you confess? Um. Maybe we shouldn't be doing this on the podcast. <laughs> Um, a lot of things. That <laughs> was a long, yeah, like, long thinking. I was going to answer. I was like, no. <laughs> I know they couldn't do ah! it. I know they couldn't do it because obviously it's invisible. But this would be like spooky if they like you could see the shadow of the creature go across mm. their face. That would mm. be spooky as fuck. Survival. You ever seen that episode? That's a reference. That's a reference you to ever survival. Seen it? I'm not sure if you have. Yeah, I've seen it. Mm. A bit sarcastic. Jeez. Yeah, that's what I am, man. <laughs> it looks like a chicken. It's a big chicken, to be fair. With one of those floppy beanies on. The CGI isn't 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 top of the range this episode. That's it's the one. 2011, one. man. Yeah, I'm not mad. You it's are. 2010, mad. actually. You, nah. Mm-hmm. Nah. You're, nah. You're, mm-hmm. Wrong. you're wrong, eh? And you're wrong about everything. You're wrong about the 60th trailer. You're wrong about life. I'm always right, Connor. And you will learn that when you Dude, watch the 60. Aiden, Aiden in 2023 20, talking about 2011 Doctor Who. CGI looks shit. Aiden 2023 <laughs> talking about CGI and Doctor Who. Solution, don't shit. CGI. Just all practical. What a fucking suck, am I right, folks? <laughs> Get alive. I love fake door sounds. <laughs> the uh, camera battery may suddenly die. If that happens, I'll uh, flick in a new battery, but... I didn't come prepared. It seems like no. We've just filmed a podcast already tonight before doing this watch along. How about that knee slapper? <laughs> and it sounds like a chicken too. If that's how your bloody chicken sound, mate, then. There's something wrong with them. Nah, chickens are my friends, baby. I'm gonna have chick. I want my dream is to have chickens in my back garden. They're I know so someone cute. that does. So cute. No, they're not. They're fugly. No, they're not. They just fugly. die. They just die. Yeah, because you keep killing them all. No, they just die because they're dumb. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? All right, let me listen them out. Does Amy know about Gallifrey yet? I can't remember. I'll have to rewatch. You don't know a lot, do you? Neither do you. You asked. <laughs> Shit, folks. He's got me there. 
did I say it all the time at work when I asked my dad something? And he's like, I don't know. I'm like, you don't know a lot, do you? <laughs> it's my favorite thing to say. Maybe it's the press like Van Gogh. Isn't that the point? Probably. <laughs> it was the rot of the pack, I see. It's blind. Oh. I'm still blind. I forgot about that. <laughs> I'll never see anything ever again. No, I don't know, really. <laughs> I'm still blind. blind. <laughs> that doesn't look too bad. That doesn't no, look too bad. No, because he's on wires. Nah, man. They're in a church, bro. How can they fit wires? <laughs> oh, no. He's killed it. He didn't deserve to die, okay? Didn't deserve to die. Fuck, I almost quoted one of my old short films then. I was huh? like, what movie was that quote from? It was one of my old short films. Did I miss it? No, I was trying to quote it, but don't worry. Let's listen to this dying boy. It was from Choices. It was. Okay, this is very sad. They just killed the motherfucker, now they're sad. Well, I don't think Van Gogh meant to kill him. That must be a strong stick if that has impaled it. Well, it was digging in the grass. They showed a good shot of it. True, they did kind of set that up with that shot, didn't they? You don't really... You know, this is what I... When I watch Doctor oh, sorry, Who... you're such a film buff. I'm I see terrible. it differently to you, obviously. Yeah, I think right. we've come to realise no, that's this. okay. Sword winner, right This, this is, is so, so beautiful. Great. My whole life too. Oh my god, this is stunning. I love this so oh, love much. This, yeah. Starry Night, man. It's fantastic. It's literally fantastic. That's a lovely line. Hmm. God damn, it's even sad, just that, that close up of the handhold, oof. It's very sad. That hits you in the feels. I'm not even being funny. I feel like he's kind of like you, like when you greet like friends and stuff, like when you treat Nicole, for example, I feel like that's sort of how you greet her. You're like, Nicole, my best friend, the wonderful Nicole. I've known Nicole longer than you, bro. So yeah. I know. <laughs> I've known Nicole like 18 years, 17 years. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's true. So you win. You're the better friend. 
I'm just, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm overcompensating because I get nervous around people. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. It wasn't a joke. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no. I know, I'm, I'm just laughing away the, the awkward, <laughs> the awkward anxieties. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't trying to be awkward. The camera, the camera battery dead. has died. I'll set it up again. Don't worry, guys. I'll guide you for it. Camera battery's on hold. Don't worry, guys. I'm still here. You can still hear my lovely voice. I didn't show his wet for some reason. He's been sweating his nuts off. Hey, gorgeous. Why is he shirtless? Probably the best part of the episode. Coming up? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not probably, it is. Sorry, I should probably say. The camera is back. Oh, I love how they, they wrap the TARDIS. God, my chair is so wet. This episode just makes me so happy. Yeah, something happened in Aiden's chair. This episode's just so good, it makes my chair all wet. Like, no character walking the task would never get old, I feel like. I know, it doesn't, eh? This is like this kind is of a fun well. one as well. Yeah, yeah, it's a different one, eh? How it's yeah, cut this down. is really good, yeah. The score as well. Yeah. Wow. It's very silly. <laughs> Took the hat off, put it on the hat rack. I love that. That's because you keep the brake on, baby. That's not the brakes, mate. Yeah, it is. You just don't know your Doctor Who law. I think the brakes is the... Yeah, that's the... Yeah. That is what I was referring to. Yeah, Van Gogh, idiot. <laughs> Jesus, <I'm excited. laughs> if I, I love how it's on fire. Life. Yeah, that's sick. Why did Why did John Paramount not burn in flames? <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> it's a good question. He's a mortal. Oh, this is beautiful. More of this in Doctor Who, please. This is. This so I'm walking with a hand radio. Piece of music is fantastic. I listen to this quite often because of this episode. If any of this happened in real life, I feel like that's what everyone takes from this episode. <laughs> Aiden getting taken to the cinema to see people watching his films. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this for you. There's just no one there. <laughs> there would be. To explain. Be kind of yourself. Oh, this is the music. This is amazing. It's very rare for Dotty to play a song like this. Yeah, like in the forefront of the sound. Like, it is amazing. Like, proper, like. What a shot this is, by the way. Sorry. Yeah, that's great. He really is like great casting. Mm. Tony something, I think. Both like both like as an actor, but yeah, also I mean, like also visually. The, yeah, visually. Like, I follow him on Twitter. He's great, man. Imagine seeing that. Mm. I'm like, there's choices. There's let me be. There's the Robin was wrong. There's Bill Nye. There's um Purgatory. Oh god. There's force. <laughs> I love that I was like you were nice about my tie <laughs> like that really made his day compliments made my day mm. <laughs> man god damn I love how this is directed as well. All the spinning. 
but he yeah, still sorry. says I, just, I didn't feel like I wanted to talk for him. I know it's crazy but oh, he, I, honestly, he, I love how he knows his like Vincent yeah yeah, it's like nah, 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 <laughs> nah, 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 truly like, not, yeah, yeah. dude. It's such a great performance. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like nah, <laughs> bro. I love Bill Nye so much. Nah. He's so good. <laughs> <laughs> He's like fucking surely not boys. <laughs> no way. No way. No way, bro. No way. <laughs> Dude, what a fucking app. <laughs> oh, wow. I do feel like the act structure is a little bit... The structure of this episode is a little off. Because it's like the first two acts is the alien plot and the third act is all this climax. But the climax is so good. It's not really a villain, hey. It. It's like yeah, it's like a blind animal. It's a little bit of fluff for a little mm. bit of it, you know, which is probably its downfall. But all this stuff just makes up for it. Like it's so worth sacrificing that that normal narrative structure for this ending. Smoking a pipe. Is that the first Doctor in the Cave of Caves? Literally, the Cave of Skulls. <laughs> He's happy. He's got a pep in his step. That made a difference. What is this, my movie? That's a plot spoiler. It'll be out by then. <laughs> a couple <of> weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, don't gas yourself up, mate. It's not uh, don't gaslight yourself, Amy. They didn't actually film in the real place, did they? No, this would surely be a set. Nah. No way they went to Paris. Paris. Fact my um, trip to Amsterdam, as we always bring up, my biggest regret of it is that I didn't go to the Van Gogh Museum. You're too fucking busy smoking doobies. <laughs> up to the other nonsense. Like, I was oh up man, to. I forgot to go to the Van Gogh Museum. <laughs> Come on, this is beautiful. We have to watch this cut. <laughs> He's dead now, of course. Oh, is this like Don't always soften the bad things. Bad things don't necessarily mellow the good things or make them unimportant. Karen's great, eh? Mm-hmm. Isn't this the four Amy thing? Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. I love it. Uh, this is so beautiful. Who was Amy? It's the question. I remember when I saw the sunflowers thing in real life, I was looking to see if it did say that on it. Like, but not, not obviously. Don't be ridiculous. No, but as if like he had written it for a girl called Amy and oh, if a Doctor Who had right. sort of run with it. That would be incredibly that'd be, coincidental. That would be very cool. Love that. Beautiful. Can you watch the launcher next time trailer? Yeah, we'll watch the next time trailer. I'm just making sure it doesn't Hello. skip. Hello! <laughs> Christy Froze first episode. <laughs> oh, young Corden. <laughs> I love you. Smithy and Doctor Who. 
We love it, mate. Who would ever have thought? Well, that was fantastic. Yeah, dude. It's one of those episodes that kind of does leave you a little bit speechless to be like, that was actually Doctor Who. Like, yeah. We, we got an episode that good, written by that good of a writer. Yeah. That's it, what I mean by Doctor Who isn't a bad show. No, it... it yeah. It's incredible. What is the best boy? Best boy is a little helper boy. Well, I think there's different... Defin- I think there's like a better definition on an actual bigger film set, but for what we do at our level, best boy was always sort of the boy that sort of, I think would usually help gather. I think it usually helps out the lighting gather department. Um, but I could be wrong about that, to be honest, because best boys, you uh, need to be on a much bigger set to have a best boy. But I think we would always have the best boy be a little boy, sort of like a runner. But I think, I think they were slightly more connected to, to lighting and gather. Cool. If you need the best boy for your new film, Aiden, Connor Hannon. Well, you were already the best boy on set, mate. Oh. The best boy in a film crew, there are two kinds of best boy. Best boy electric and best boy grip. They are assistants to their department heads. The gaffer and the key grip, respectively. Yeah, so they, they are assistants to... to Yeah, one to lighting and one to, to grip. Do you know what grip is? The grip, I thought the grip was um, the person who held the uh, boom mic. Because you have to have a grip to hold. No, it. that. Oh my god, that, that's funny. But no. No, I actually thought that. No, that's sorry. That's I don't just know the, what that's just the boom operator. No, the grip is. Um, they're sort of like a, a, a handyman on set. Like that, they, they'll do things like help an assembly dollies. You know, um, they can have things like apple boxes on standby, wed, wedges on standby. Like they apple, are. So if you get hungry. No apple boxes. But no, they, they, they just do all sorts of like you. little technical things. Like they, they might, you know how a dolly will often take like three or four people to operate. They might be the guy that sort of sets that up or, or you know, the, the, the biggest set that I was on, the, um, the grip was in charge of like getting the dolly in place, setting that up. And then I think they were sort of the, one of the arms of the dolly. So I think they were sort of doing the, uppy downy part of the dolly like the jib arm side of it um but yeah a bit more so, of a handyman um, kind of thing the like hoppy for a scene it's like stop you have them press record that kind of thing no <laughs> <laughs> are you ever gonna take it do a take and you haven't been recorded no bullshit because you have mechanisms like i did this would have been cool for you because you were on set recently it was, yeah. for me um you got to hear all the calls so you say turn over yeah um and you say, go on for a take. So that way everyone knows it's going to be quiet. Everyone needs to be quiet. And then um, after that, you then have <laughs> camera says rolling and sound says speeding um, or just speed. And then mark it, slate, action. I had that happen. And then like um, all that stuff was being said. And then Xavier walked through the set. And no, I went, I just went, <laughs> I laughed and no one else laughed. And I was like, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear we are in trouble I was like oh dear oh dear I was trying to break the tension I was like classic Xavier just... I never I never noticed that so I never if I didn't laugh it's because I genuinely didn't see that yeah, happen. Aiden's too in the zone he's like I don't even know what year it is anymore I've been filming so this focused, movie so bro so alright guys thank all you right, for watching ya. this was oh, I do want to have dinner at some point tonight this was our watch song of Vincent and the Doctor I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it very much love that episode a lot uh, make sure you subscribe. We were a little bit quieter in this watch long, I think, but it's just because it was such a bloody good episode. Well, you know what? If I don't like it, fucking watch something else. <laughs> he says at the end of the, of the yeah. watch long. That's a smart business move. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. I've been Aiden. I love you, Aiden. Love you too, bro. Love you, Connor. We got it right on air, right on camera, me right, saying the we'll L see word. see you next week for... I don't know. Um, season six, we are doing, I think, The, the Doctor's, Doctor's Wife. Wife. Yeah, so we'll see you next Thursday for The Doctor's Wife and your regular podcast episode every single Monday. We'll see you then. Peace and love. Bye. Bye -bye. Have a great time.